Hi, I'm Madison May. Welcome to my world. Hi, this is Ron with Art Moose TV, and we're here with Madison May. How's it going today? It's going great. How are you? Really, really good, and I can say your art is phenomenal. Thank you. Photographer very long? Oh, yeah, since the day I remember, and ever since that day I got my first camera, I've been bringing it around ever since. And you live at the ocean, I take it? Yes, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> this first piece kind of threw me off. First, I thought you were a painter, oh. because I thought you painted all these rocks and stacked them up. Really? That's very interesting. Yeah, you know, that was kind of the idea um, when I decided after that I take so many photos on the ocean and each one is so unique to me that I kind of wanted to make one photo that encompasses them all. So then I had this photo of stacking rocks and then I thought, oh, why not incorporate all my different experiences that are also unique, just like the rocks that are stacking. So then I thought, hmm, I want to make it natural so it looks just like the rocks. And it does. It, it really you. threw me for a loop the first time I saw it. <laughs> and you must love dolphins. I do. You know, this photo is really special to me because when I saw this dolphin, it just wiped away all the stress, anything, you know, that was bugging me. And it just smiled at me, I swear. It almost took on like a human form because I was like, oh my gosh, like I felt like I connected with this dolphin. So I just hope when people see this photo, they feel the same way. And, and we get to experience your first photo. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, this was before I got my Nikon camera, and I remember I was just so excited to be out on the ocean. This was my first time. It was sunset. It was so pretty already, and we weren't sure if we were going to see whales or not. Then all of a sudden, there was five, ten spouts, and we're like, oh my gosh, there's whales everywhere. And then this blue whale just fluked, and the lighting was perfect, and I took a snapshot, and it turned it out great. It does. This is, the best part is the clouds coming down and the sun trapped right between the ocean and the clouds. Right. This piece here really threw me off. This is like, okay, we're playing with jellyfish now? Yes, this is kind of funny because you would think, oh, maybe she also dives and takes pictures also. But this is actually at an aquarium, so it ended up working out. It really did. And when you shipped it at uh, Sepia, yeah. it made it extremely desirable. Oh, piece. thank so. you so much. And then this rock. Yes. Okay, so this is kind of funny. So I was on vacation. And this is at Mono Lake. And as everyone's running to their cars because we can see the storm coming and you can <laughs> hear the thunder, I thought, you know what? This would be perfect for a photo because when it's overcast and it's the storm coming, the lighting's perfect. And the reflection of just that rock, it's, I loved it. So I had to take a photo. I've seen photos of a single boat at a dock, but I've never seen it, three of them lined up like that. It, it's really, really neat. Thank it captures you. your eye and makes you really want to search through the picture and look at it. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I really like this one because of all the textures involved in it, and it just made me think back to that day when I was walking with my family around Mammoth Lakes. And we have butterflies, too. Oh, yeah. So this one's also special because I can think back to the exact day that I took it. There was probably hundreds of thousands of butterflies, but then all of a sudden, this one just stopped almost for me, and I had to take a photo. Did you bring them home? I wish. <laughs> and then we go Monet on us here. Yeah, so this one was kind of neat. I was just walking around with my family at the mission in San Juan, and to me, it almost looked like a painting. So I was like, hmm, I should probably capture that. It's half dome. Yeah, so I figure that everyone takes a lot of photos of half dome directly, like just take a snapshot. But then as I was looking around, I saw that there was a reflection of half dome, and I thought, wow, that would be kind of neat to do something different. The different way you did this is the fact that you don't even show Half Dome in the background on the top half. Yeah. It's like, where did Half Dome come from? It's like, <laughs> oh, that's not real. But it's really pretty and the water wasn't moving, so you captured a perfect reflection. Thank you. And then we have you. Yeah. You're doing your selfie. <laughs> yes, I am. That was at Salt Creek, which is one of my favorite beaches to go to. Thank you so much for being on the show today, and we can't wait to see more of your great photos. Thank you so much.